everybody. So I just got back from seeing the new a tearjerker <laughs> uh, called Light Between Oceans, starring Michael Fassbender, Alicia Vikander, and Rachel Weisz. This is directed by Derek Cianfrantz, I think is how you say it. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's based on a book by M.L. Stedman is the name of the author. And it's kind of an interesting one. I have not read any reviews. I've not seen any reviews. This is just my fresh opinion coming after just seeing it. I'm just going to do a very spoiler-free discussion are a very spoiler free summary of kind of what the movie's about. But you've got Alicia Vikander uh, and you, uh, Isabel is her name in the movie, and you have Michael Fassbender as Tom. And uh, they meet and they fall in love and they have great chemistry and it's spent a long time with them in love and falling in love and meeting. And I don't think that they necessarily needed to start it so far back of him, him going to work at the lighthouse and then her and then him coming back and and meeting her or kind of going on their first date and then they they write letters and then eventually they got married and uh, I, I mean I kind of enjoyed all of that because I just really thought they were so lovely and it was shot so beautifully and I love the ocean I'm a real sucker for the ocean so I, I didn't hate it but it, it definitely was like I was waiting for when this baby thing was gonna come. And then tragedy befalls them. You can see it in the trailer if you want, I won't tell you. But uh, they find this baby in a boat uh, with a dead man in the boat. And uh, then they decide to care for the baby even though they know that they don't, they don't notify the police, they don't tell anybody because they are so in need of, they so want a baby. And uh, then the Rachel Vice character is the baby's birth mother, and it kind of goes from there. And, you know, it is true, somebody said, you know, it looks like a Nicholas Sparks um, book um, from the poster, and it does kind of, it's set in 1920s, but it's got way better acting than it was Nicholas uh, Sparks uh, adaptations and it's got way better cinematography and production values and everything like that. Just feelings about the movie. I, in general, I, I would say I thought it was a good film. I thought it was a solid effort. I, I loved this, just this chemistry between uh, Alicia Vikander and Michael Fassbender. It made sense why they kind of rationalized keeping this baby and I believed that he would kind of have this guilt about it. Uh, about keeping the baby and so that all worked for me I thought Rachel Weisz was great as the as the birth mother and there's a, the only moment I really cried is when she decides to forgive these people and I thought that was the kind of the most moving moment of the movie um, there's one thing I had a problem with in the film is that like you're talking the 1920s and in that era, like, men didn't spend that much time with their babies, especially a baby. Like, it's one thing if he was, like, a, a child, a, you know, like, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I could see him being kind of alone with this baby. I mean, I could see him being alone with this child or something. But for him to be alone with the baby and then and he's such a caring father and then he ends up in this boat, I felt like they had to really stretch uh, believability to believe that the mother would uh, would have him have the baby and that uh, he would end up in this boat uh, and that the baby would end up in the boat with her father and everything. So that was a problem because it kind of makes everything just feel a little less believable if like the very thing that brings the baby kind of feels, you know, feels unbelievable. But uh, I kind of went with it. I, it wasn't a huge problem for me. Uh, and it is kind of indulgent. It does kind of, like I said, even every every scene that probably should take uh, 10 minutes takes 15 minutes. And so it just feels a little stretched out. Uh, but again, I just thought these two were so good and I thought it was so pretty. <laughs> that And the music by Alexander Despot is beautiful. And uh, so I, I liked it. I thought it was a good film with some caveats. I think that this film will be really hard for mothers to watch. <laughs> uh, there's just a lot of things that will be, like I didn't cry that much in this film, but I think if I was a mother, I would have been bawling. Especially if you are a mother 
that has had a miscarriage or lost a baby, I think that you will really have a hard time with some things that happen in this uh, movie. Uh, and it's really sad stuff uh, on all the characters, just like motherhood. It's just like a sad movie about motherhood. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. So that would be, I would say, oh, I don't know. It's also pretty steamy for PG-13. I'm really surprised that they got away with PG-13 in this. I guess I went in expecting a period weepy uh, with good acting, and that's basically what I got. And so I was really satisfied with it. I liked it, uh, but it is kind of self-indulgent at times, and it will be a tough watch, I think, if you are a mother. Uh, I think it'll be tough. So that's my thoughts. I would give The Light Between Oceans a B. That's what I think it deserves. So that's my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think if you get to see it. And uh, I thanks so much. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye.